Some of you have asked on how to get some pitching tips. Well, pitching tips are, uh, there are so many, I, we could spend hours teaching it, but what I would like to talk about is the very basic fundamentals of pitching. The most important thing in teaching a player to be a good pitcher is develop good fundamentals or mechanics. Number one, make sure whether they're throwing from the, the stretch or whether they're throwing from the windup, they get to the first balance point. And the first balance point is when we get our, our lead leg, if you're a right-hander, uh, at this basically this point. When we get to this point, we need to have some flex in our balance leg, and we need to have the knee in front of our belly button or in the front of our body. So our first balance point here is here, and we have to be able to balance in that position before we start to move forward. Whether we throw from the wind up to get to this point, or whether we go from the stretch, we need to get to that first balance point with a flexed balance leg, this knee in the center of our body, and we're ready to go down the mound. When we get ready to break our hands, two things happen. Number one, our foot goes down before it comes out, basically in this position, and our hands break at the same time. As we get ready to go down the mound, we're also going to super flex the balance leg. So it'll be something like this at that, at that point. As we go down the mound, we want the foot to go low along the contour of the ground and stay near the ground. So when our lead stride foot goes out, it goes down and out, not out and down. As we go down, we want to break our hands, as we said, and get symmetrical with our arms. Our arms should get in a position where our elbows are about as high as our shoulder and our hands are separated relatively equal to create some symmetry. So our hands are going to break. We're going to get to this point. When our foot strikes the ground, it should be as close as possible to being lined up with the catcher when it strikes the ground, and the foot should strike the ground either flat or toe-heel, but never heel-toe. Make sure that when our stride foot hits the ground, it does not hit on the heel. When we get to this point, we're going to pull with our glove side, and, and when we pull, we're going to pull down instead of around. As our arm comes forward, we're going to get, try to get our chest over our knee, have our release point out in front of our body, and the hand goes outside our calf. The back leg will uh, go slightly up in the air and will elevate as we do this, and then we should be able to balance. This is the second balance point right here, balance in this position, and then we're able to set our foot over to the side so we're prepared to field. It's very important that we, when we throw, that we keep this trail leg behind us, then we can balance so that we can end up square and feel the ball should it be hit to us. There's hundreds of things that we could talk about pitching. We must have the correct grip for fastballs, the correct grip for curveballs and other pitches, and we could spend hours talking about that. But before you even getting into pitching a lot of pitches, make sure that you have the correct fundamentals of pitching. We need to be able to use our legs, our core section, and our left side especially to pull with so we get rotation from our hips and our core section to help us throw. If we're throwing with arm only, we're putting ourselves in a position for injury and we're not going to be able to throw the, the ball with as much uh, velocity and with as much accuracy. So remember these little tips that I've given you. Make sure that you use your body and that you practice it in the order that I gave it to you. And, uh, and if you're having still a little problem, go see the help of a trained professional. But basically, those are some good tips on how to pitch baseball.